right, so this video is going to be about the body percussion or the movements that we're going to do for the Once a Chinte song. Um, the movements are rather simple. The first part of the video will just show you what the different movements are. There's one that's a little tricky and I'll have an easy version or the hard version for that one. Um, and then the second part will be practicing it with the song. Um, so excited that you're here working on the body percussion. Remember, you are welcome to change these a little bit if you want to. If you're like, ooh, I would rather do it a little bit this way, or maybe you even come up with a better one, please email me if you come up with a better one. Uh, we can always change it and you're welcome to do whatever works for you. These are just kind of suggestions. Okay, first I'm gonna break down the different parts. Of course, we're going to be using our hands for the different parts. Um, there is a simple at the beginning, a snap. Now, if you can snap with one hand or if you can snap with both hands, you could switch off. If you can't snap, my suggestion always is to just tap your fingers together. It's obviously not as loud, um, but it, it's more about the movement than it is about the sound sometimes. Um, so there is the snap. So go ahead and you can practice the snap with me. Snap, snap, snap. You can try the other hand. Snap, snap, snap. Again, do what works for you. So that's the first movement is snaps, just simple ones. Uh, the second movement is going to be um, patting on your legs. And again, it doesn't need to be hard. Um, it's really gentle and sort of quiet taps. So about like this. Um, and you'll notice that I, of course, always have a pattern to my body percussion. I wasn't just going tap, 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 tap. I was going tap, 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 tap. That helps me keep in line with the music because I make sure that that louder one kind of connects with the music. So I suggest that you do that, but again, that's if you can. So those are the first two. After that, uh, we come to the hardest one. I want to show you the hard one um, first. It's pat, pat, and then this hand comes over here and this hand hits it up and then goes back down and then back up. Um, so together it goes. So let's break that down a little bit in case that was difficult for you. So first, it doesn't matter which hand is first, you can use your right hand, your left hand, just pick hand one. So hand one hits leg one, hand two hits leg two. Hand one comes over and hand two hits hand one. And then hand two hits leg two, hand one, leg two, hand one, leg two. So try that again. Leg, leg, hand, leg, hand, leg. And then the rhythm isn't quite that straight. The first ones are a little bit longer. So did you hear how like when you go up, it's a little bit faster. Long, long, short. Long, long, short. Short, short, short. Long, long, short. Just practice that with me. And re uh, review that part if you didn't quite get it and just practice that with me a couple more times. We do that one a lot. Now, if that one is too difficult for you, if you're just not getting it at all, just do a simpler hand clap thing. You can just do. During when I'm going. You can just do that. Um, if it doesn't work for you. So again, try it if you can. I think you can probably get it if you work at it. Some of you, it'll be super easy. Um, but if you can't, remember you could just, I mean, you could even just pat or pat and up. I would do, I would do this one, but it's up to you. So those are the first three, snapping, then gentle patting, and then our pattern of, those are our first three. After that, um, we have this one. It's sort of like clapping, but it has wrist wiggles, I guess. It 
just kind of looks cool. You could, if you can't get the wrist to flop, you could just clap, but it's a gentle clap. It's not like a loud clap. It's a really gentle clap. Okay. Um, but Okay, so those are the movements. That's, oh, oh, there's, sorry, there is one where we go like this. But yeah, I'll, I'll show that to you with the music. Um, okay, so that's a breakdown of the different kinds of movements. Um, next, I will kind of show you when to do each movement. So when do you do which movement? At the beginning is when we're going to, of course, do the snaps. The song starts, compassion fun, learning's never done. And this is where you could use one hand or if you want to use both hands. And if you can't, you can just use your fingers. I was a home, we changed the world. Then we're going to go into the very gentle leg pats. Um, friends and teachers too, we become the glue. Finding what we know, we change the world. And then as soon as we get into one suchinte, that's when we do our um, pattern. So here we go. One, two, ready, go. One suchinte, oi suchinte. Sore, chinthe's luck will last for sure. If you want to like do hand movements to act it out, that might be more fun for you, so do that. If you don't like doing those kind of things, you might just do this. So, if you want to do movements with the cheer, um, you could do anything that you think fits. Um, I would suggest this. Um, hear us roar, watch us soar. Chinthe's luck will last for sure. So you're gonna make the roar, then you're gonna soar like a bird, and then, yep, we got it, we know it's gonna last. See our claws stand in awe. We're steadfast till they withdraw. Means that they left, right? Um, so if you wanna do those movements, if not, you can just be doing this, okay? Um, so. Hear us roar, watch us soar. Chinthe's luck will last for sure. See our claws stand in awe. We're steadfast till they withdraw. Again, you can kind of choose there. After that comes back the once a chinthe part where we go once a chinthe, always a chinthe. And you continue that until together we will soar. We are strong chinthe. Once a chinthe. Right? Then the next section is the once a chinthe part that is slow. Um, once a chinthe, always. For that, um, you are welcome to make really tiny, um, oh, what, did I, what did I want you to do? Oh yeah, the hand rubbing. I forgot to show that to you earlier, but you can hand rub. Once a chinthe, always a chinthe. And you just rub your hands, just rub your hands during that whole part. When they go together, we will soar. No sound, just hands. Um, we are strong chinthe. Once a chinthe, and then watch me, because I'll cue you, and then it goes fast again. Once a chinthe, always a chinthe, together we will always soar. And it's the same as always before. Um, I hope you enjoy the body percussion, have fun with it. Um, and the next part of the video is doing it with the song, so I won't be explaining, we'll be just doing. Mm -hmm. 